Tartan's got that amazing effect on you. I've always loved Tartan, even as a wee girl, I like Tartan, so I'm very lucky to do this. Trained at a Keith Kilt School up in Murrayshire. The teacher there was exceptional, so I've been working to his standard ever since. There's eight yards going to a kilt. You take a, a strip out the middle, depending on the length of the kilt, and then you start drafting up. You start with your outside apron, draft up your plates, and then the other half, you join it together, and then you've got your inside apron. Cloths out, join it together, mark out the plates with basically bits of card. It's like markers. So depending on the tartan, depends how many pleats there are and also the, the size of the person influences that as well. But ideally you'd want between 23 to 29 pleats, sometimes more, in an adult's kilt. So you mark out your pleats with uh, wax, join them all together, and then there's a wee process called lifting the pleats. But before you do that, you have to cut them out at the back. And then lifting the pleats is to stop them sagging. It's something that not all kilt makers do. It does take a long time. I think that'll be why not everyone does it. I do each pleat individually and I get right through to the front of the kilt. You actually do it this way, I'll turn it round. Stitch along there and it comes right through to here. The hemline through time, if that is not such solid, this line here will sag and it'll be kind of U-shaped rather than a nice square kilt. And then there's a lot of canvassing goes on in here. Um, there'll be a wee strip goes on top of this bit, right to the vent, that's where the inside strap comes through. So the cam's known and then you start shaping up your aprons, stitch them, baste them, stitch them. After that you've got your buckles or strap. The only bit you machine on is the waistband on the top and then you fold it over and it's hand stitched again. Everything else is hand, hence why it takes so long. Everything, all of the sewing, everything's complete before you press it. Once it's pressed, you then pull these threads off and you're left with a nice flat fringe. And that's what it is really, there's bound to be bits I've missed.